morning, Finders Keepians. I'm Rachel. And I'm Sarah, and we're Finders Keepers. And today we're going to be showing you how, this really great card. It is amazing. <laughs> if, it, yeah, that's, she can say that. I Sarah, made the card. Sarah I did, made I don't the card. Brag, and but it turned out pretty nice, and it's she using can brag. one of our own stamp sets. So we're really excited to show it to you. So it's just coming up. First, I'm going to show you a technique that I. Um, I've learned. I didn't yeah. develop it. It's not my technique, but I learned it. It's the galaxy technique for creating because you need it for the front of this card. Yes. So that's the first part of the video. And then we go into the actual card making itself. So, so let's we'll just be get right started. back. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back, Finders Keepians. So here we go. So Sarah, okay. what are you doing? Okay, so I'm starting <laughs> with the Tim Holtz Oxide Inks, and this is because I'm kind of scared of watercolor. I do watercolor, but it's hard. It's, it's, it's harder the, than this. There's a there's a learning yeah, curve. There's a learning curve. I mean, it's not super hard, but it's. I just thought this is a really easy way to get the galaxy effect without watercoloring. It's faster. It's very cool. So you'll see. I'm just going to put in. I. I Four colors. Um, the, These are beautiful colors. Yeah, they're the it's uh, the honey color. There's a peacock color. I'll, strawberry preserves. Anyway, but this oh, you're is, spritzing it. Yeah, you spritz it and then look instant watercolor. Look at that. How that softens that everything. That is so cool. Now the trick with this technique is you have to um, make sure that you continuously dry. Like you go back and dry and add another layer. You go oh, back and okay. dry. You add another layer because that'll give you the depth of the okay. sky. So we're we're trying to. We're trying to create this galaxy effect. So we want it to be like there's depth to it. Uh -huh. There's stars that are way far away. There's stars that are that closer are close, to us. Yeah. And there's these colors um, <clears throat> from these, you know, like, you know, space clouds. Space clouds. You know, it's space <clears throat> dust. Aurora Borealis and kind of stuff. So Pretty pretty. Right. So now I'm going to start putting black over this. And this is kind of oh. the scary part because you'll see for <gasps> a minute you Sarah. have kind of a hot mess. Like, it's like, uh-oh, I ruined my thing. <laughs> What are you doing? Yes. It's a little bit of a heart of a lion, but don't panic. You're going to get there. Trust the process? Trust is that the what process you're saying? a little bit, yeah. So, so you're I'm, just using the block as the, the stamp, I am. essentially. I'm using a block, I, a smaller block, because I had a little more control that way. And now watch, I'm going to go and dry. Now it still looks like, oh my gosh, what, what is she doing? This looks oh, like this preschooler so... work. Okay, not to fear, what I'm going to dry it. are you it. in, Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> are you in kindergarten? I'm drying it. I'm going to lay some more black on top, and that's going to give it, again, we're just working for that more depth. depth. So it's so. just layers on top of layers with this mm -hmm. oxiding. And you just keep working it and working it. If, it. if it doesn't look right, you can just keep working it. You'll see later on, I actually even just like dip the paper onto my work pad there and pick up paint that way. It's oh. really not it's very forgiving how you get the paint on there. You know, the oh my gosh, look fine. at that. See, I'm kind of picking that up, and now I'm going to work it again. And now that gives still... you a different texture. Yeah. So that was, like, spotty. Yeah, so that gives me, like, a little bit of a rougher texture. Um, oh, wow. I can see. So you can start to see, like, stars emerging, but it's, yeah, again, it's not a galaxy yet. So you keep working it until it's a galaxy. So you just, if it's not a galaxy yet, you're not done. <laughs> so don't. Don't feel like, oh, and here I am. This is a Heidi Swap product, the shine stuff she does with when, in the teal. Some glimmer stuff. So I'm putting that on as some, they're like far away stars. And I'm going to dry it. Um, and then I'm going to layer more color on top okay, of that. Okay, okay. So, so that's, that's going to give be... me that, like, oh, those are the stars that are far away. Far, In a far galaxy away. far, far away. <laughs> so... Star Wars is coming out. Yeah, I know. We're so excited. We already have our tickets. Anyway, <laughs> so, okay, so now I'm going to put some black over that. And some of that sheen is going to shine through, and some of it's going to kind of be behind the clouds. Like, you'll be able to see there's a star way off in the distance. Okay. Now you can kind of start to see this. Um, it's this, just getting darker and darker, galaxy but those emerges. colors are still popping. Yeah, you oh! can kind of see it. Now I'm going to put a little more of that, spatter some of that. Now here is, this is diluted white acrylic paint, nothing fancy. And I just dry that again. Now, those are the stars that are closer to oh me. Oh, my gosh, Sarah. That right. is so beautiful. Right. Oh, I'm and I got you. it. I have <laughs> right, to. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's yes. beautiful, Rachel. You're right. Correct. <laughs> now, my paper was curling a bit more than I wanted, so I misted it on the back, and I'm drying it again to flatten it out. Very cool. So I just wanted to show. I, some people, I guess, aren't really aware that you can do that, but it's the water on the front of the card that's making it curl. Oh, I spritzed some more Another to shine. Of it's just her little shimmer spray, the Heidi Swap stuff. And again, I'm doing the back to kind of make it lay flat for me and keep going over it and over and over it and dry, dry, dry. Um, 
Oh, that is so awesome. I'm drying the back. So, and this is kind of, and then the one last thing I try to do to get, to get it flat is I'm going to kind of, I'm going to put it through a big shot. You'll see and let it oh. kind of, just by itself without a dye, of course, just to kind of flatten it out. But you could die cut this. You could, could scrapbook absolutely. with this. You could make cards with this. You I could go. do whatever. Like, flatten, flatten you. <laughs> and there it is. Oh, Sarah, that is so beautiful. And you can't really see the shimmer. But, but those um, colors, they just really pop. Even though you're putting the black over it, they still just pop and they look right. amazing. Talk. Ignition. Lift off. And now, the cards. <laughs> <laughs> this is our stamp set. It's called Existence. Um, the sentiment is, uh, your existence pleases me, which is existence kind of fun. And then it has all me. these little aliens are and they it's cute? got like a little, uh, like a 1950s Adam sign. Yeah, yeah. And, and some then stars. some little starbursts that I use as a texture on the interior of this card. So here's my galaxy card. I've cut it down. Now, I, I got about two card fronts out of that okay. um, galaxy painting that I did. And I'm just putting it down in here. And um, there's a lot of shimmer in it that this, you can't really see, but you can see how colorful it is. And then, Yeah, this <clears> video <throat> and the pictures just do not do it justice. So on the inside, I wanted to create a little texture, a little interest. Oh, so you're using um, the little stars. I am. I'm using the little star cluster stamp that comes with this set, and I'm kind of stamping off and making just a subtle purpley kind of little thing in the background. Purpley. And then <clears throat> here's where Sarah, you can kind of see Sarah's brain. Like I'm trying, I, I want to punch a hole in this card so that the little alien is peeking through, and I'm trying to figure out the best way. And I... I know that there's a way to do it if I wanted to take out like the Misty or one of that Tim Holtz equivalent oh, yeah. of the Misty, whatever that's called. But I, um, no, I love what you did across the room <laughs> <laughs> and my punches were right there. So, it was all the way across yeah. the studio. Oh, I had to cross like five feet. Oh so, yeah. So <laughs> I'm kind of just figured out how to place him and oh, I did a little, it. a one inch hole punch. And then I would put a little short alien next to him because I only wanted this tall alien's head to, to show fit through, through the, the yeah, circle, a little circle. And then I just kind of lined up. I use different colors of greens because I have a lot of ink pads, but you could use any color yeah. you wanted. You could use aliens one color. Come you in could all do... colors of the rainbow. You never know. And there's my sentiment. Um, your existence Ooh, pleases what's me. What's this? Then, these are like little uh, star. star confetti glitter ah! things. And, and you're using silver. the tombow. And the, the trick is, is that the Tombow is kind of hard to see because of the white acrylic paint. So oh. I had to use my very best uh, vision <laughs> for that. Did you get your glasses I, out there, yeah, sir? Yeah, my magnifying glasses. Magnifying glass. Yeah. You know, like those people and that so, do but little... check this out, Rach. Look at that. Ah! It gives a little ah! tweet. Oh, there she goes again, screaming. Sparkles! And then um, and a little alien peeking through. And oh. then you open it up and it says, your existence pleases your me. Your existence pleases me, Sarah. <laughs> Thanks, Rach. That so, is awesome. Yes, there, so there's the finished card, what and I hope you enjoyed this. What a beautiful card. Oh, my goodness. Well, that was – Sarah, thank you so much for that beautiful technique, and then what a cute card. Oh, thanks, and my pleasure, and I hope everyone gives it a try. Yes. All right. Play thanks. with us. Bye. <laughs> Bye.